hopefully y'all can see me. I'm gonna take my glasses off. Hopefully y'all can see me. Um, I thought I'd come and do this video while I was driving because I know I'm not gonna have time with any other time this morning. But I wanted to come to y'all. So this is gonna be like parts, PSA, part rants, part call to action, if you will, okay? So, some of you, if you've been watching my videos for a while, y'all might remember that a while back I was saying that um, I was gonna kinda chill on the hauls, right? I had, it was a little period of time when I wasn't really hauling all that much, cause I wasn't really buying all that much. And I said that the reason was is I was trying to get a vehicle. So, I like currently, like not at this moment, but typically um, drive a car that's in my dad's name, right? I've been driving since like high school, right? So I need a new car. The whole plan was for me to get a new vehicle. So I went ahead and put in a loan application with my credit union. And I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna be bomb. Cause they have like wonderful interest rates with the credit union and they run like these car specials like every few months in May was one of the months, right? So they have all these really good incentives and deals and whatever. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get like an amazing deal on the vehicle and I'll be good, right? So I put in the application and I hadn't heard anything from anybody for about two weeks. So Wednesday, so that's Friday, right? Wednesday, I called them and I left a message on their voicemail. Nobody answered the phone. Yesterday, loan officer calls me back and she's like, yeah, so I'm calling to ask you about the loan. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, I first want to ask you about these delinquencies. And I'm like, delinquencies? What is she talking about? She says, yeah, on these credit cards and commences to rattle off four maybe like four credit cards and a whole bunch and i'm like wait a minute what pump your brakes okay because i have made certain in this short life of mine not to get caught up in the credit cards because i know myself and i know how i shop and i know how easily i can be enticed <laughs> so i don't even mess with it so all throughout college you know they send you credit cards every week in the mail because they want you you know what i'm saying to begin your credit life with them this character mom okay maybe not but anyways they send you all these credit cards i didn't sign up for any of them didn't use them didn't get myself in no kind of debt that i didn't need to be in so right now the only debt that i have is my student loans right so anybody who know about y'all know about student loans y'all know okay so in the midst of this 20 minute conversation with this woman i realized that some trick because that's what she is she really i would call her something worse but i'm on youtube so i'm trying to keep clean name ashley janelle murphy in cincinnati ohio has been using my social security number so this trick done racked up all kind of stuff. She got all kind of credit card debt, a number of credit cards in my name, well, with my social security number, all a slew of medical bills. She has like a $4,000 judgment against her from some debt consolidation company. Uh, she has a Verizon bill that's passed through that they been put into collections, a T-Mobile bill that they done put into collections. I'm trying to make sure y'all don't slip in five. Um, What else? She done co-signed on three auto loans the hell all kind of stuff okay so my credit score as of today like today 2011 may is a 459 will just slap me silly yeah and i haven't even done anything so i don't even know y'all it's just like really too much to fathom right now um yesterday i was like going through it okay i was like quiet snotting everywhere just like losing my mind why is this happening to me like i don't even do anything i don't have any credit cards why is this happening to me okay then i kind of went into a period of just pissed offness when i just really wanted to fight her because i was really really trying to see how much the last minute trip to cincinnati would cost just real talk okay but right now i'm just i don't know i'm kind of indifferent last night i prayed about it and i just asked god to just whatever he needs to happen in this situation was to happen because I'm just praying that something bigger is gonna come from this because I just cannot believe it. I just, I can't believe it right now. I can't, I can't deal with this. It's just like, it's too much. But I wanted to come, the reason why I say it was a PSA is because I just want to remind y'all, like, take care of your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Be cognizant of everything that's going on with your credit. You may think, you know, I haven't done anything i've been paying my bills you know everything is on time i don't pay the minimum balance on my cards you know you may think that everything is ordered with your credit but still check it you know what i'm saying you're entitled to one free credit report a year and if you have been denied credit for any reason um you automatically get one if you've been denied for free so check it out and get it done y'all because you you never know these people are crazy i've never in my wildest dreams thought that i had any type of credit issue 
and this ish has happened okay just be cognizant be aware especially now like you know with the internet age and everything we do so much e-commerce and buying things online and it's so much easier to get things done online and we prefer to do it that way because it's less hassle and you don't have to necessarily deal with people don't have to call anybody you know what i mean and it's faster to get things done but it also opens you up for fraud and i don't even know how she got it because right now it's looking like it's going back at least to 2005 so who even knows you know what i'm saying but just be cognizant be aware if you haven't looked at your credit score and haven't checked your credit report in a while do it because you you never really know this trick is just living high off the hog you know what i'm saying on my social security number it's like if you're gonna use it at least pay your stuff off you know what i'm saying it's just like everything she's been delinquent on and for her to have gone through a debt consolidation company it's obviously obvious that she been doing this everywhere having bad credit and not handling her business so you just decide well i'm screwing mine up let me screw us up too okay but like i said her name is ashley janelle murphy i don't know what she look like y'all already know i done googled the crap out of her twittered her facebooked her every kind of anything i could do the sad thing is now because she's been using it so long some of her information is like merged with my information so if you search you may find my stuff and her stuff under the same person it's crazy y'all just pray for me because i don't even know you know i've seen stories about identity theft and news reports and read articles and all type of stuff and the majority of the time it takes years to get out from under this kind of thing so i don't even know needs to say i probably won't be getting a call anytime soon so there goes that one but um y'all just pray please <laughs> pray for me i need it like right now like i guess i just kind of had to laugh because it was just like like really like this is really happening to me like right now like i, I have a feeling that i can't i don't even know i have to be like being set up for something great i have to be i have to be like there's no other reason why this happened to me okay but y'all pray like i said watch y'all stuff be well you know what i'm saying and if you in cincinnati if you in cincinnati and you know somebody named ashley murphy middle name jay her middle name is janelle if you know if you know her hit me on dm hit me on the dm please hit me on the dm because i may have to make a trip is all i'm saying hit me on the dm let me know what's good uh you send me your number we can you know what i'm saying we can get together and we can make some things happen because for real though i'm not a fighter i never have been i'm a little out of the way i'm not a confrontational person whatsoever you know what i'm saying not at all that's not me but if i saw that chick in the street what yeah i ride out on her you look don't even get me started here on youtube anyways i just came for a moment i know the camera will be doing some crazy stuff because it ain't just completely secure but like I said, y'all pray and y'all watch our back. Make sure your credit stuff is together because you never know somebody might be using your information. All right. I'll see y'all next one. Deuces.